Okay, in this video, I'm going to solve a couple of quadratic equations that can't be easily factorized, and therefore we have to use the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula, hopefully you recognize it, is x is equal to minus b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And a, b, and c we get from our quadratic equation when we have it in this order, a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is the constant. So I have two examples here, and they're just going to be slightly different in the sense that the first example, I'm going to give the answer correct to three decimal places. And in the second example, I'm going to give the answer in third form. You can be asked either one um, any time. So in the first one, let's just label what a, b and c are. So a is 4, b is 9, and c is minus 5. Now, just be careful that c is actually minus 5 and not 5, because it's quite common to make a mistake here and forget to put in your negative sign. OK, so let's fill in our formula. So x is equal to minus b, so that's minus 9, plus and minus the square root of b squared. So that's 9 squared, which is 81 minus 4ac, so minus 4 times 4 times minus 5. And this is all over 2 times a, which is 2 times 4. Okay, so this is equal to minus 9 plus and minus the square root of 81 Minus 4 times 4 times minus 5 is 80. And 2 times 4 is 8. So I have minus 9 plus and minus the square root of 161 over 8. Now I want the answer correct to three decimal places. So I just go to my calculator now and type this in individually. First of all with minus 9 plus 161 square root of 161 over 8, and then minus 9 minus the square root of 161 over 8. And I get my two solutions to be x equal to 0 0.461 and x equal to minus 2.711. Okay, in the next example, I'm going to leave the answer in third form. So let's first of all start by writing out <clears throat> what my a, b and c is. So in this case, a is 3, b is 12, and c is 1. So minus b, that's minus 12, plus and minus the square root of b squared. Okay, b squared is 12 squared, which is 1, 4, 4. Minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is 1. And this is all over 2a, so that's 2 times 3. Okay, so let's continue working out here. Minus 12 plus and minus the square root of 1, 4, 4 minus 12 over 3. That's minus 12 plus and minus the square root of 1, 3, 2 over, sorry, that should be 6. <clears throat> okay, now the square root of 1, 3, 2, I can actually simplify that. Uh, 1, 3, 2 is divisible by 4, which is a square number. So I'm going to rewrite as minus 12 plus and minus the square root of 4 times the square root of 33. 4 times 33 is 1, 3, 2. And this is over 6. Now I'll just take this up here. So minus 12 plus and minus, the square root of 4 is 2, so it's 2 root 33 over 6. And now 
I can divide this term, this term, and this term all by 2. So I get minus 6 plus and minus the square root of 33 over 3. And that is my answer left in third form. I'm not going to simplify it anymore. I'm not going to write it as a decimal. And we can leave it with the plus and minus in one solution. We don't have to separate it into the two solutions. Okay, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.